practicing isolation at Eagle View Trail at Caw Lake in Oklahoma. This trail is really different from trails I'm used to when I go hiking. Maybe because I usually go on mountains and this is just like flat Oklahoma near a lake. Um, but it doesn't really feel like a trail. It feels more like a, a bulldozer just came through and knocked all the trees down to make a little road in the middle of the forest. <laughs> caw, caw, caw. Get it? Because it's Caw Lake. Yeah, caw, 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 caw. <laughs> We unintentionally went into a whole campground area over here and I'm uh, just going to take a little stroll down to the lake and enjoy the view from over here. That's right, it is Caw Lake. Good bird. Push. Just kidding. Hi. Hey. Don't look at me. You're a penguin. Look, there's deer. So there's like three of them over there. Well, there were like three of them. This is Ponca City Airport. I've never been to a regional airport, just like international ones, um, but there's actually a restaurant here that does curbside that we want to go to Enrique's. But uh, this is the whole airport. This is like where people wait for their planes and stuff. That's the entire thing. <laughs> it's pretty small coming from a, uh, coming from a city boy. It's a beautiful sunset too. I guess the sunset kind of just ended, but Oklahoma also has beautiful sunsets, just like Texas. By the way, only that half is the airport. The other half is the restaurant. That half. And there's burgers. That's the restaurant. Enrique's Mexican curbside takeout. Very nice of them to do that. Um, it's nice that they're actually open as well. And then we got tortilla chips and food. What's in here? Is that, oh, oops. Uh, beans. Cool. Beans. And they have their own brand of brand, own, yeah, own brand of salsa too. Bruh, look at this. Okay, hold up. Where is it? Look at that. What the hell? There's an ant on the ceiling. Avocados were 39 cents at Aldi, so you know we have to get a bunch of them. And I don't know how this is the first time this trip I'm making guacamole, but we're making guacamole. Guacamole is done. We got our chips or crisps for my friends across the ocean. And then Kara made a stir fry over there. Gachujang? Yeah, we got, she got, she ordered this gachujang off the internet. Cause apparently you have to get from like a specific Asian market and there are no Asian markets in Ponca City. And she was like $10 before shipping. Kara is getting her natural pure mountain spring water here because she refuses to drink any tap water at all. No, she's been drinking some of the tap water. We're making miso soup now. And this is the stuff in the miso soup. And we got this organic chickpea miso. I have no idea like how to make any of this. I'm just kind of like watching her do the stuff. We only go out for the essentials. <laughs> okay, if your name is Stephanie, you are legally obligated to uh, skip past the next 20 seconds of the video. That's my mom's name. Here's our haul for today, which will probably last at least two days. Um, so I just got some cheap whiskey because I won't know the difference between this whiskey and any other whiskey um, because I don't drink spirits at all. And then I've always wanted to try Natter Days. I've only ever seen them in 12 packs at the smallest. Um, usually I see like 30 packs or something of them, but somehow I managed to see a six pack of Natter Days and uh, I'll finally be able to try them because I've always wanted to try them, but I just couldn't commit to buying like a full 12 pack of them. So I am very excited for that. And I like these cute little bottles too. They're like a dollar. Natter days are for the boys. <laughs> it literally just tastes like they put strawberry lemonade in a light beer. And that's pretty much what it is. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, we're also uh, making enchiladas, which I've never done before. Oh, we got the enchilada sauce actually up here and we actually don't have a can opener. So probably do what they did in the good old days. Just use a knife to open that up. You don't need a can opener to open a can. All you need is a spoon, a towel, and termination, and maybe a knife. Never made enchiladas before, so this is all very new for me, but we had to uh, microwave the tortillas. So they're 
more foldable, which actually I don't think they're hot enough, so I should, no, they're okay. Apparently we have to like cover it in the sauce and then flip it and cover it in sauce again and then we fill it up. I should probably put these back in the microwave. But yeah, we put this filling in there and then we bake all of them once we have all of them made. We are baking now. About to put these in the oven. They're looking so freaking good, let me tell you. Bro, they're done straight up. Absolute fire. We got cilantro here and maybe some other toppings over there on the fridge. Oh yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll show the food for today. Let's say, uh, <clears throat> sorry, recurring theme. So yeah, it's like tofu stir fry and in here, sweet potato stuff, foggy, and some alcohol mixed with some Dr. Pepper. Yeah, this is peanut butter. This tastes like Butterfinger, like when you mix it with the thing, it tastes like drinking a Butterfinger. Dinner isn't even notable today, but I feel like I've just gotten in the habit of just showing my dinner, or I mean our dinner every night that I guess I'll show you the stir fry and the lentils that we made tonight. I feel like every single clip in every video is just me showing the dinner, but it means a lot to me, okay? This is our hobby, cooking. I know it may look like I might have a bit of an avocado problem, but when avocados are 39 cents each, you can't not get them and make guacamole. Most of the avocados weren't quite ripe yet, so I kind of had to improvise with this uh, guacamole salsa kind of thing here. And then we also made a uh, vegan green bean casserole. And it's vegan because instead of milk in the mushroom soup thing, it's almond milk. And it's pretty good. Can't even taste the difference. I've never shaved my chest before, so I figure I should try it. And by trying it, I mean I was very strongly encouraged to try it. So this is the aftermath of all the hair that is now gone. Um, I should have done it before, but it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. So this is after clean, kind of. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, so you know a lot of people are wearing masks because of the <laughs> corona outbreak. So all these fucking weebs are out here. I finally fit in. We actually ran out of toilet paper unironically, and we've been searching for toilet paper at like four different stores, and we finally found some. So, yes, happy days, we can wipe our butts. Here we have plantain, which is not quite banana, but also not quite potato. I've made plantain once before, and this is still like, this one over here is not quite ripe yet. You could eat it, but you want this to be like really like dark. Like you want it all to be like that color right there, at least from my experience, from what I remember the one time I cooked it. And we're just gonna be plopping it on here. Oh, that's the best way to cook them, but that's how I'm gonna be cooking them. Here we go, two minutes later, fried plantain. Bone, apple teeth. Also, tortilla, pizza, yum. We're making IRL Pagasian boots from RuneScape right now on stream, by the way. <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be very satisfying to take the tape off along the edges because we put tape on there so the paint wouldn't get on the bottom part of it. Look at that, so satisfying. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> I just broke up. <laughs> but yeah, they're almost done though. That's like the little feather wing thing on the side there. Do you see this mushroom? It's like a double side mushroom. Bro. What the if? How to do that? We made a tofu scramble, which is, I guess, supposed to be like scrambled eggs. Um, tofu is usually white, but I believe from what I was told by the expert here that the turmeric is what turns it yellow. So, yeah. It looks like someone drew with chalk on our porch in the last day or something. And it says, tag your it. What about my it's? <laughs> My girlfriend, Kara, is pretty much like me, where she spends most of the time on the computer, and for the longest time, all she's had was this old-ass netbook, Chromebook thing that can barely even run one RuneScape client at a time, 
that's what she's had since like high school and her ex gave it to her and that thing's like 10 years old and it's really, really, really bad. So she's been saving up money from her job and she actually just invested a thousand dollars into this right here, which just came today. She ordered it like a week ago and it just came and this is like a $1,000 laptop and she'll be able to not only play one RuneScape client, but a bunch of RuneScapes and edit and stream and do whatever she wants to do on it. I'm being really quiet right now because it's like 10 a.m. and she's sleeping. And for the last week, every single day, I'll just be like, hey, is your laptop coming? Is your laptop coming? And literally even this morning, I was like, hey bud, is your laptop here yet? And she's like, no, it's not here. And went back to sleep and was mad because I kept bothering her, waking her up. <laughs> but yeah, it is actually here now. And I don't care if you see the address because we're just at an Airbnb. But I'm gonna bring this over to the bedroom. And I think, I have a feeling once she sees this, she's like actually gonna wake up, wake up. So let's see what happens when we go in here. She'll be a gamer like me in no time. <laughs> The laptop Kara got is pretty much the same thing as the laptop I got, um, except the screen's smaller. I have 17.3 inch screen and hers is 15.6, I believe. And I think all the specs are the same, except I think the graphics card is like very slightly worse. But other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. It's like the baby version of the laptop I got. We're like twinsies. <laughs> Little sister. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, pickle juice, my favorite salad dressing. <laughs> These have been marinating for over a day now. It's uh, supposed to be like salmon, I guess. It's carrots, and then we made this sauce made out of like liquid smoke and like, I don't even know what it was she made it, but it's supposed to like imitate salmon and be like the consistency. Smoked salmon actually is what's supposed to imitate, but uh, it's been marinating for over a day and I think it's done now. I actually love smoked salmon though, that's like one of my favorite foods. I'm going to try it now. It's, it's kind of close to it. It's kind of close. Maybe it's not sliced thin enough to be quite how smoked salmon is, but pretty close to it. I think it's the, um, the seaweed. What? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> the seaweed is what makes it fishy, I guess. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it is good. I don't really know what salmon tastes like, though. Salmon tastes like, like I've fish. only, like, really tried it once. And I didn't like it, because I don't like fish. Mm. But the carrot stuff is good. It is. I think if we marinate it longer, it'll get softer. Or maybe if we baked it longer, I don't know. We baked it and then marinated it afterwards, so. Yeah, maybe baking it longer, doing something longer, maybe will make it softer. Because it's kind of crunchy, but I just got that bite and it was like kind of soft, so. Maybe, maybe we've got to do that. Oh, wait a second. I think it's because I took pieces off the top. If I dig down here and get some stuff that's actually in the marinade overnight, maybe that'll be softer. Mm, never mind, I don't know, maybe a little bit. I've discovered how to make vegan tuna. It's essentially like making hummus, but I don't put the spices in like cumin or cayenne or paprika or anything. And then instead I add a little bit of soy sauce um, and then the seaweed, which is pretty important. And then I figured out the key ingredient, this secret ingredient right here, pickle juice. Add a lot of pickle juice in there and oh my God, this tastes so close to tuna, but there's no meat at all. The main thing in there is the chickpeas. But holy crap, dude, this is so, so similar to tuna. I would not, actually I might know the difference, but it's still like really, really close flavor. Like if I had like a blind taste test, maybe I wouldn't notice the difference. Bro, bro, what is that? What the hell? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that big ass spider. <sighs> oh no. 
big ass boy. I mean, we can knock it down with the broom, but that wouldn't be very nice. Today we're making pasta. So we got vegan chicken and some shells. And over here we're making this sauce. Um, that's mushrooms, garlic, and spinach. And it's all vegan, by the way. Well, it's gonna be really good. And there it is, all combined together. Heck yeah. You're kidding me, right? You put the burger toppings on the bottom half of the bun? Yeah. Bruh. So I could do them first and... Flip they go on the top half, the burger goes beneath the toppings. Okay, well I'll just flip the wow, over. Wow, disgusting. Ruined. Life ruined. The kids are crying. I'm shaking in my boots. It, it's like two days later after you first saw it. Protect me. Ah. Ah. I feel like it's gonna jump on me. Ah. Where is it? Oh, is it on the broom? Yep. Ah. 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 Okay, you're safe. My queen has protected me. Yeah, you fucking like that little bitch. Hey, you're <laughs> nice to him. Oh, it's like the spider from uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. What's his name? Jeffrey or something? <laughs> like... It's like an impling jar from RuneScape, but it's a spider jar instead. <laughs> Wanna say bye to him? Boy ain't paying rent. Get the frick out of here. Like we don't freaking shotgun your ass, boy. Cars never tried four loco. And it is four loco Friday after all, even though it's not Friday. It's gonna be a fun night.